Well, hi all, my name is Matthias Klaasner and this is video number four for the Adobe Experience Design uh, tutorials. So in this uh, video, we're gonna make things work. Every uh, link is gonna be made. Um, so I'm in the prototype area, um, but I need to alter this button. The name isn't correct anymore. Um, so I need to go to our locations instead of recipes. There we go. That's taken care of. And now I need to select the button and go to the prototype panel. So there we go. And now we can easily drag and drop just like we've done in the uh, uh, video number one. So this artboard, um, it needs to be a slight left. There we go. And this main menu button will bring us back to the main menu again. So uh, home and then a slight right the other direction. There we go. So that's beautiful. Next up is the locations on the map. So I'm gonna select that one and drag and drop onto the K12 location. There we go. Uh, slide left. And this one needs to go to the main building. Also slide left. Of course you can link them back again to this menu. Um, but there's also an option to uh, go back to the previous artboard. So if I select my logo over here, just press on the button, not drag and drop, just press it. And then you can choose the previous artboard. And then it will automatically do the transition in reverse. So that's uh, that's pretty cool and helpful, of course. Previous artboard. And that was my final link that I needed to do. So now let's test the prototype inside of uh, Experience Design itself. Um, well, this button already did work. Now go to the locations, this one, back to the previous artboard, and every link is working perfectly. The cool thing about XD is that you can even make a recording of it, so you can put your uh, user in front of the, the prototype and uh, press the record button, and then you can navigate through the app, or your client can navigate to the, to the app and see if everything is working like you think it should work. And it gives you a beautiful uh, demo video, which you can save um, and share with your colleagues or uh, yeah, for uh, further uh, research. So that's pretty nice, pretty cool. But not only is it possible to test your, your app inside of this panel, which is pretty cool of course, but you can also test it on your device. So all you need to have is a, a wired uh, connection with your cell phone, with your tablet, so connect it with your USB cable and then um, install the uh, Adobe XD app on your device. So let's share my device. There we go. This is my uh, iPhone with the Adobe XD app on it. And it will show you your app working on your device, uh, which is pretty cool and gives you a real feeling of how it looks and feels on the device itself. So that's pretty awesome. At least I think so. The cool thing is that it's uh, responding uh, immediately. So when I uh, make this screen a bit smaller, and move this one aside a bit. There we go. And I uh, changed things, so maybe this uh, should be a bit lower. It will directly be updated inside of your app uh, on your device. So uh, you can make changes wherever you are inside of the app and, uh, and alter things uh, in order to make it working uh, more beautiful uh, on the app itself. And the final thing that you can do to test your device is uh, share it with a link to your client. So then what you can do is uh, yeah, go to the share online option and that will give you an option to um, drag and drop your logo in there. So that will be the app icon on your device. You can allow your client or any, anyone who has got the link to leave comments and just create the link. And I will upload it to the uh, Creative Cloud. There we go. And now we can uh, copy the link and uh, paste it in the browser. And that will give you this site with your app working in there perfectly. This is the app logo. And then you, your client or your, your colleagues can leave some comments, um, uh, some feedback to make the app even better. When you've uh, changed your, uh, your artboards, thanks to the, the comments, you can share it again and that will give you an option to make a new link or just update the link and um, that will replace it online. And what I'd like to do is go to my uh, cell phone again, go to the website with the browser, 
then just go to this button and add it to your home screen give it a name XD app or something you'd like choose add and now you'll find your app like a real app on your home screen so open it up and it will load your app and it will feel like it's uh, the real thing so in four videos time you've seen my workflow in Adobe XD I think personally that this is a really cool and powerful tool for making your prototypes for your apps thank you for watching and maybe see you another time in another video